What's up guys? Welcome to your 50 second Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically get those list items um, doing something for the most part. In the previous tutorial we set up our inflator, got our menu displaying on the screen according or when we press the menu button. Now we're actually going to let those list items do something. Basically you kind of like set up the on click listener but we're going to use a different method. So I'm just going to minimize again uh, this on create options menu here and we're going to import or use another menu or another method from the activity class so again right click source override implement methods and scroll down to one or again uh, it's not in the list view, list activity it's under just uh, activity here and it's called on options item selected so just look for that on, on, on options item selected it takes a menu item within its class or within its parameters hit ok and it kind of sets it up for us as well. Um, again, we're just going to kind of gut it out for the most part. We aren't going to worry about uh, sending it to the super class. We're just going to delete this whole line of code right here and uh, delete that. Now what we need to do is we need to kind of reference this item that's being passed in. Again, once one of these items are clicked within our on options menu, uh, it's going to call this method for the most part. So what we want to do is check the case ID of which menu was selected. That's why we set up those IDs in the few tutorials ago. So we're going to set up a switching case and we're just going to say item which is being passed in and we're going to say dot get ID just like we've used uh, plenty of times in the past. Oh actually it's not get ID it's going to be get item ID. Sorry about, sorry about that. And uh, that's going to give us the ID of an item. So there we go. We set up our switching case, set up a new pair of brackets, and then do our cases r dot id dot about us was one of them, and then we're going to say break and case r dot id dot um, what was the other one? Preferences. Whoops. and then we're going to break as well and now why it's giving us an error and why it gave us an error in the last tutorial basically it's a boolean I don't know if I'm saying that right I always say stuff wrong because I read in books and I, I never know if I'm pronouncing stuff right so it's boolean I believe and basically that's going to be a true or false type scenario and we aren't returning any data we aren't saying hey it's true or false so what we need to do is return something. So we're going to go outside of our switching case here and we're going to say return false. Just return something we're just going to say hey it's false doesn't really matter if it wasn't within our switching case. Um, so basically if it is neither of those things it's just going to return false give give no input back. And that's basically how we set up basically our items and then we can do something like well I don't know I don't know if I want to do anything more in this tutorial it's a pretty quick tutorial for the most part but again nothing too new just remember we set up a basically on create options menu and then once that menu inflates uh, that's what we've done in the past tutorial gives us two items which we set up in our items resource folder or our menu resource folder um, we set up two items within there and then we're just getting the ID of those items which is being passed in when we get a click because those are called menu item um, or it's from the menu item class it's going to give us that item some information about the item then we're just going to pull some information from that item within our switching case we're just going to get the item ID and then if it's the case of about us or the case of preferences we do again whatever is within here um, so it's a pretty quick tutorial nothing too new for the most part besides just working with items within a menu so hopefully you guys kind of re or relax you're like okay we didn't do anything too new for the most part you learned about a new method and that's about it so thanks again for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next tutorial have a good one